The officials are ready. The fighters are in the ring. And they are ready. So for the thousands in attendance and the millions watching around the world, ladies and gentlemen, uh, let's get ready to rumble. All right, guys, let's get right into it. Who do you think would win in a fight between Devin Haney and Ryan Garcia? Who do you think will win in a fight between Regis Progre and Ryan Garcia? Well, who do you think is going to win, Haney or Regis Progre? You know, it's going to be a great fight. It is going to be a great fight. We feel it's a 50-50 fight. Uh, we don't know how Devin's uh, strength is going to translate at 140 pounds as this is going to be his first fight at, in the division. But he looked ripped when he was hitting those bags um, in his most recent social media posts. Regis Progray was asked how much does he think Devin weighs right now and he said about 165, 170, maybe he said he was a big guy. So it's going to be interesting, definitely going to be interesting. As far as Ryan Garcia getting a chance at the winner, he has to get through Duarte and we know Duarte is going to be a very, very tough customer. So I guess we just have to hang tight. December 2nd, Ryan Garcia versus Duarte and of course, Haney versus Progre. There is no doubt whatsoever in Eddie Hearn's mind who awaits the winner of the Regis Progre Devin Haney showdown December 9th in San Francisco. Open quote, we'll make the Ryan Garcia fight, Hearn told a group of reporters after the press conference Tuesday. I mean, that's, you know, the zone knows the winner of this fight should fight Ryan Garcia. I mean, Ryan Garcia is with the zone, he's with Golden Boy. That fight is so easy to make right now, and I think. Whoever wins the fight, you know, if it's Devin Haney, if it's Regis Progray, it's a February, it's a March fight in Vegas, in Los Angeles against Ryan Garcia, and it's massive, massive fight for boxing, close quote. Rival promoter Bob Arum has expressed interest in matching Ryan Garcia against 140 pound champion in his company promotes Teofimo Lopez, perhaps on the Saturday night before Super Bowl is scheduled to be played February 11th at Allegiant Stadium in Las Vegas. Hearn envisions Aram's top rank Inc. having difficulty closing a deal for what would be a highly anticipated Lopez Garcia bout because Matchroom Boxing's chairman thinks Lopez will be unreasonable in negotiations. Open quote, I think the winner of this pro Gray Haney fight is the man at 140 because Teofimo, as good as the wins are, you never know what he's gonna do, Hearn explained. One of the problems with Teofimo Lopez, and this is a problem for top rank in ESPN, when you talk about that Heisman date, you can't rely on this guy to do a sense deal for a fight like you imagine trying to negotiate with Teofimo Lopez to fight Ryan Garcia can you imagine the numbers that he will pull from the sky you know open quote you know we've asked with Devin we have the relationship where you know be sensible but get your worth and I just think it's a conversation that wouldn't take long to make that fight people have been talking about Devin Haney versus Ryan Garcia for a long time and it's a mega fight. But if Regis goes in and knocks Devin Haney out, all of a sudden he puts himself up there as a top pound for pound fighter himself. Close quote. Garcia, 23 wins, one loss, 19 by way of knockout is scheduled to fight December 2nd for the first time since his seventh round knockout loss to Javante Davis. Regis Progre, 29 wins, one loss, 24 by way of knockout, will defend his WBC super lightweight title against Haney, 30 wins, zero losses, 15 by way of knockout, in a 12 round, 140 pound title fight that'll headline a DAZN pay-per-view show a week later at Chase Center in San Francisco. Top rank attempted to schedule Lopez's next fight for December 9th at Madison Square Garden in New York, in conjunction with ESPN's annual telecast immediately after the network's Heisman Trophy presentation special. Brooklyn's Lopez, who upset Josh Taylor by unanimous decision in the 12 rounder to win the WBO Junior Welterweight title June 10th in the theater at Madison Square Garden doesn't have a deal done for his next bout. Uh, let us know in the comments below guys what are your thoughts on the topic. You can find us on Instagram at Sportbox TV official, X formerly known as Twitter at Sportbox TV and of course don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and also share the vid. We appreciate the love and support. Take care.